हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम क्वेश्चंस फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फॉर योर टर्म एंड एग्जामिनेशन फॉर टर्म थ्री एंड इट इज़ फॉर ग्रेड एट एंड क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम योर रिवील मैथमेटिक्स बुक ओके लेट स्टार्ट द लेसन सी क्वेश्चन कैन बी राइट कॉन्ग्रोवेंसी स्टेटमेंट कंपेयरिंग द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट्स इन सेट ऑफ द फिगर्स Now, first of all, you must understand about the congruency. Congruency means figures having same shape and same size. Okay, they are called congruent. Now, here to write the congruency statement is very easy thing, but it needs some attention. Okay, now I'll tell you here. See, first of all, we talk about angle W. You see, angle W only we have one line. and here also we have one arc line is not the correct word rather arc okay one arc for w uh, angle x so it means angle w will be equal to measure of angle x i am not writing measure every time okay but i you understand it is measure of w okay measure of angle w now next you see for u you have two arc and here for y you have two arcs it means angle u is equal to angle y means their measures are equal similarly for s you have three arcs and for here t you have three arcs so angle t will be equal to angle sorry here angle uh, s first will be angle s then it will be angle t okay now this is all about angles now we will talk about the side so you can see W U means this is one only one small line. It means here also one line. It means they, these two sides are equal. So U W uh, U W is equal to X Y. Okay. Similarly, two lines where two small lines on S U. So it will be equal to here T Y. What else you can have? only one thing is left s w or w s it will be equal to what is three line there you can see three line is here so t x okay now this is all about the sides and first three lines are about the angles okay now they are equal this is given in the picture now at last we have to write the congruency statement so how you will write see first triangle you can write by any order it's up to you so for example i am writing in a proper alphabetical order it is s u w no problem in writing the first triangle okay but after this you will have to be careful so this is the sign of congruency it means congruent to triangle now you see angle s is equal to what angle s is equal to t so first letter will be t second letter is u so angle u is equal to what y so here it will be equal to second number will be of y and the third value is of you see w and angle w is equal to what angle x so here third letter will be x so what we can say t uh, the triangle suw is congruent to triangle tyx again see how you will verify this su is the first side and here ty is the first side and you can see from here they are equal yes so this also seems to be okay not from the first one the second one okay this one su and ty are equal okay now the second side is uw and here second side is yx so uw and yx they are equal you can see it is here written okay and the third one is sw and here third side is tx so sw is equal to tx so like this what statement we have written it is correct okay now here one problem will be there rather confusion not the problem see in exam maybe some congruency statements will be given to you maybe they will not write like this in options they will write like this option a will be maybe they will write triangle usw 
is congruent to triangle uh, U for Y and then S for T and VW for X like this. Okay. So what you will focus here, you just focus on their position means U is the first value y is the first value are they equal then whatever statement you have right you see here see u is equal to y so you just take it okay that yes it is correct now s is the second number t is the second number so are they equal yes s and t are equal now go to the third one w and x they are at the third place so are they equal yes w and x are also equal so it means this statement is correct okay like that you can verify in the exam because such type of questions will be in multiple choice question okay if it is in free response then it's very easy for you you can write any type of congruency statement now let's continue this type of question same type of see uh, we have to write the same thing again so angle m is equal to what you see on angle m you have one arc so where we have one arc y so it will be equal to angle y okay similarly angle n we have two arc here for angle n so where you have two arc again for angle z so it will be angle z here and then angle where we have three arcs o and in another picture three arcs where w yes so it will be angle w and for the last angle angle p has four arc up and where down we have four x okay so they are equal angles they are corresponding equal angles okay now okay what is the meaning of corresponding part here corresponding part means same place different position see here one means one arc for m and here one arc for y so they are called corresponding parts okay they are called corresponding parts now for the sides you see m n for m n side we have one line one small line like this so one small line where in another trapezoid like it is y z so it will be equal to y z another side for two lines you see two lines we have on n o like this here you can see and here where we have z w okay z w now it is for three lines so three small lines where in upper tri upper picture it is for op so op is equal to three lines here where this one so w x and last but not, not the least which line is left here now for four lines yes so it is p m p m is equal to where four lines here x y okay so what is statement you will write you will write the statement you can write polygon or you can write trapezoid also because it is looking like a trapezoid okay so trapezoid what i told you that first picture you can write in any order means you can write m n o p or you can write p m n o it is up to you no problem at all okay so i am writing in the alphabetical order m n o p is congruent to trapezoid now here you will have to be very careful for the second one so m is equal to what see m is the first letter here so m is equal to y so here first letter will be y n is the second letter here and n is equal to z so here z will be the second letter o is the third letter here and o is equal to w so here it will be w at the third place and last it will be x so trapezoid m n o p will be congruent to trapezoid y z w x okay like this you can see and you can verify the sides also see m n is the first side and here y z is the first side so you can see m n and y z are equal we have already written it okay now o p o p is the second side and here w x is the second side so o p and w x are the equal sides and another one then what we can write here n p no 
uh, okay this will be no no is the third side and here zw is the third side so are they equal yes no and zw are equal and then pm or mp side is equal to yx or xy so this is equal like this you can verify the congruency statement also whether it is right or not right okay now another question can be same type of question you see here first angle angle f i'm doing it little quickly okay it is equal to angle h i will suggest you to pause the video and write the congruency statement in the comment okay and then check your answer so angle y f is equal to angle h because both of them have only one arc then for two arcs we have angle g now you see if you will write g then there will be a confusion so how you will write you will write angle f g e angle f g e means this side okay <coughs> sorry then it will be equal to angle h g j means this side they are equal so and now the third one will be angle e angle e is equal to angle j okay this is about the angle what about the side side is f g is equal to uh, where is the one line g h or h g you can say okay where two lines are f e or e f is equal to h j and three lines are for e is g is equal to j g okay now these are the sides now what congruency statement we are going to write so triangle f g e is congruent to triangle now f is the first letter so f is equal to what h so h will be equal h will be the first letter g is the second letter and g is equal to g so here g will be the second letter and here e is the third letter and e is equal to j so it will be equal to j like this you can write the congruency statement okay now another question can be same type of question so let's finish it quickly angle k is equal to angle q angle m is equal to measure of angle l measure of angle r is equal to measure of angle p and what about the sides sides will be km is equal to ql then mr is equal to uh, it will be pl because here i am sure you are understanding this so i am just saving your time so that it can be done quickly kr is equal to pq okay so what congruency statement we can write m r k or just write in the order of angle k m r again i am telling you my dear students first part of the statement you can write in any order okay there will be no problem then second part you will have to be careful k is the first letter and k is equal to q so q will be the first letter m is the second letter and m is equal to l so l will be the second letter r is the third letter and r is equal to p so p will be the third letter okay like this you can write the statement now another question can be in the quilt design shown triangle rst is congruent to triangle rwx if angle wxr is 62 degree this is given here 62 degree then what is angle str s t r means we have to find this now you see here they are giving us angle 62 that is w x r means they have given us x this angle is given and angle x is at third place okay and here t is the third place so it means what measure of angle t will be measure of angle x and it will be equal to 62 degree so see how easily if you understand the statement property corresponding part then it will be very easy for you to write the answer okay now next question can be in the rooftop construction shown triangle abc is congruent to triangle def these two triangles are congruent if ab is equal to 8.5 okay i'll write the congruency statement here 
ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay, so just as a revision, AB will be equal to DE because they are on the first two numbers. Then BC will be equal to EF and AC will be equal to DF. Okay, now you see here AB is 8.5, AC is 10 feet. Now what they are asking, they are asking about the EF. So EF here and EF will be equal to what I told you just now, you see. EF is the last two letter and here last two letter is BC. It means EF will be equal to BC. But problem is we don't know the value of BC also. So what we will do? We will first find the value of BC. Any idea how can we find the value of BC? Pause the video and write your answer in the comment that how you will find. Okay. I'm sure you got the correct answer. This is this will be done by using Pythagorean theorem okay <coughs> i'm sorry this is bc is equal to square root of ac square minus ab square that is square root of 10 square minus 8.5 square if your school allows the calculator then you can use it otherwise also it is very easy for you to calculate so this will be square root of 10 square means 100 minus 8.5 multiply 8.5 it will be equal to 5.267 and they are asking to nearest 10th so it will be 5.3. So I am sure you understood this question it is just an application of Pythagorean theorem okay 5.3 don't forget to write the unit okay 5.3 feet. Now, next question can be, in the city park map shown DEF triangle, DEF is congruent to triangle JKL, okay? So, again, as a revision, DE will be equal to JK, EF will be equal to KL, and DF will be equal to JL. Now, these distances are given, DE is 20, DF is 40, and what they are asking? They are asking about K2L means they are asking about KL. So KL is not given here. K, KL will be equal to what? You can see KL is the last two letter and here last two letters are EF. So it means KL will be equal to EF. But here we, EF also doesn't, we don't know. I don't know why they are asking, why they are such values which we don't know. Why to calculate? See. KL is equal to EF. Let's find this again by using Pythagorean theorem. So EF is equal to square root of 40 square plus 20 square. That is square root of 1600 plus 400. So it will be equal to square root of 20 hundred. And 20 hundred means how much? Because we have to write up to nearest 10. So let's calculate it. So square root of 2000 it will be equal to 44.7 44.72 yards okay means up to nearest tenth so it will be 44.7 yard so the same value will be of ef also sorry kl that kl will be equal to 44.7 yard Okay, like this you can finish this question. Okay, my dear students, I am sure you understood uh, all these questions. And if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge, please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also. Thank you.